Howdy! Thanks for stopping by the Down South Pig and Stagging channel. Today we're doing another unboxing. This one's from Monument Metals. And we've had a couple of dips this month and silver's remaining pretty low compared to what it has been with the spot price. Uh, whenever I placed this order, it was $22.73 at Monument Metals. And the average price I paid for each one of these items in the box was $25.23. So I got some things a little bit higher, some things a little bit lower. But they were all uh, around about the same price. And I kind of sticking to my plan of buy what you like, you know. And nothing in here was super high premium. Uh, I ordered this toward the you know, first to second week of January, and they mailed it out on the 16th. So, uh, I took advantage of the low spot price and low premium items that uh, Monument had going on. Uh, one of them was... Uh, a new uh, 2024 Kruger end I think should be in here and uh, so uh, like I said it was under $26 so anytime you can get a, a sovereign for fairly cheap and it's something you like and I do collect Kruger ends so that is one of the things I ordered paperwork out of there got a box in a box get it out of there monument always does a pretty good job of packaging their stuff and there's probably another bag inside of this little white box that's how they tend to ship a lot of their stuff when it's not uh, super small amount that they just put in a bubble mailer, you know. And I was right. We got another small bag in here. Set stuff aside. Thing up there. I think we're gonna get the scissors and snip that and all. Boink! Yeah. We got a nice little stack in there. I can see it. See that? Nice! I'm gonna cut down to the stack. Just get halfway there. Nice little stack of stuff there. Let's see what we got first here. We got two here, and this looks like a Golden State Mint Year of the Dragon. One troy ounce, three nines fine. A good look at that one and the reverse looks like they got a one of them lunar calendars or whatever they call it there it's pretty nice uh, this other one is a uh, Iwo Jima Memorial round Liberty round This side has a Monument Metals, one troy ounce, three nines fine silver. Looks like we got backdrop of the Washington Monument and the Capitol building and whatnot there. 
That's nice. There's two ounces for us. Let's go another four here. We got the 2024 Kruger Rand. Go ahead and get a glove. We'll take that one out. Check it out. Since it's got that writing on it there. Come on out of there, Mr. Kruger. There's a Springbok. 2024, one ounce of fine silver. I'll put that one in a capsule. So I collect those. And this one is a round. Your uh, constitutional right to bear arms. And it's got the Second Amendment printed on the back of it. One troy ounce, three nines fine. And this is from uh, Golden State Mint. Uh, there's a quote from Thomas Jefferson around the rim there it says no free man shall ever be debarred the use of arms nice like I said I kind of ordered the things I like on this one and I've been wanting some of these uh, different rounds and things and uh, the Kruger Ann was on sale I didn't want to buy several Kruger Ann's uh, I just I wanted one from 24 but there were a lot of things that they had that were low premium and that would get me up to my uh, what, $200 minimum for free shipping so that's kind of what I did on this order this is the Asahi uh, Year of the Dragon and it's a little bit different from the Golden State a little bit uh, different design. But three nines fine. Uh, it says Asahi Refining Lunar Calendar Series. Go ahead and stick that. Start popping some of these up. see maybe the difference between that one and this one from earlier there tried to eat my glove then we got the price of liberty Eternal Vigilance, one ounce, three nines fine. And this is the uh, Don't Tread on Me round with the rattlesnake on it. It doesn't say which mint that come from, but you get the gist. And then... Here is a In God We Trust. What was this called? Liberty something. It's three nines fine. Got those fascist sticks and a, like a rattlesnake on it. Get the name of this one. I look on the sheet here, it'll probably tell me. Or so many different designs. Uh, 
Unity and Liberty. That's the Unity and Liberty uh, one ounce round. And these two. This is the Legendary Warriors series. And it's going to be the Genghis Khan. This has a really cool design on it. Whole lot of details in this one. And the other one is St. Helena coin. And this one here is the... Athena Owl. Kind of a spin off of the ancient Athena coin. Oh, those are cool. I'd like to have one of those ancient coins. If anybody's got one out there, uh, leave me some comments. And yeah, that uh, wonderful gentleman there on the back. You know, I've heard a lot of talk about sales are down and maples weren't selling as good, things like that. And, you know, a lot of these sovereign coins from different countries have uh, are going to be having the king on there. And I don't know if that isn't having something to do with sales. You know, it may haps. Who knows? But. I'll be looking at the front of the coin the most. And that's really cool. I like that owl. I'd seen some others, some other places, but this one was a pretty good price. Like I said, the average price of all of these uh, were under uh, $25.25. So uh, you can get what you like, you can collect what you like. It's a fun way to save. You know, you're going to be saving saving your money this way by converting it into precious metals. Might as well be something nice to look at, you know. That's kind of my opinion. But get what you like and not what somebody else tells you you should like. Or <laughs> somebody else tells you you should stack. It's a fun way to stack if you're going to buy rounds, you know. Uh, if I'd have got another coin at this price, I'd have had, uh, you know, a t uh, the equivalent of a 10 ounce bar of silver, you know, for under um, $260. So um, you can either spend that money, $250 something dollars on a 10 ounce bar, or you can get 10 ounces and coins and rounds and things you like and maybe things that you can trade or, you know, trade for other stuff or. You know, things you can look at, give as gifts. Uh, but silver stacking is very interesting. You know, you, you, I don't I don't think anybody can argue there. There's uh, so much that you can do. There's so many things that you can collect. There's so many things that you can stack. And uh, aside from your deep stack, your heavy weight, your bars and tubes of uh, eagles and... Uh, buffaloes and whatnot but this is a fun and effective way of saving so we're going to end it here and don't you ever forget that there is no greater treasure than that what's being set aside for us in heaven by our lord and savior jesus christ i love y'all god bless you have a wonderful day